I'm JT the Brick. This is Pauly. This is Trash Talk at Vegas7.com. Two big topics we want to get into. First, as we're recording this, we're in the middle of the NBA Finals. I'm going to San Antonio for the weekend of Game 5. San Antonio is up two games to one. I continue to come after LeBron James when he doesn't show up in a game. And he didn't show up in Game number three. San Antonio came out and had the best first half offensively in NBA Finals history. How does that happen on the same court where LeBron James is on? Where's the timeout? Where's the energy from LeBron? Where's the body language? Why isn't he stopping this and why can't he dominate a game? Well, it's not his fault. I mean, they made 19 of their first 21 shots. It was a historic performance. You'll never see it again. He's not Jordan. He can't be Superman every single game. I've been saying this for three years. The supporting cast is average at best. He's just a top 10 player of all time. Wade is now an 18 points per game guy, and his knees have failed him. Ray Allen's probably going to retire. Battier's done. Chalmers stinks. Cole's not that good. He doesn't have a lot of support and a lot of help. No one's crying for you. Chris Bosh is going to the Hall of Fame. Dwayne Wade's going to the Hall of Fame. Ray Allen's going to the Hall of Fame. I think he's got plenty. I just don't think he deserves to get a free pass when he takes the night off. When LeBron has a game where he scores 31 points, gets 12 rebounds, they win, he gets everyone involved, I expect a little bit more. I want 40 points. I want to see a dominant performance. But when he doesn't show up and he goes two for three from the free throw line, Give me a break. What a dog performance. LeBron James, there should be more out of him in the NBA Finals. His body language was terrible, and they're in trouble. On behalf of San Antonio, do they win this thing? They had a huge lead in Game 3. They held on. Now they take back home court advantage. Is yeah. that enough? Well, I picked them in six before the series. They're the better team. Two through nine, they're, they're a better team. And they have a deep team with a solid bench. They haven't played well. Uh, in San Antonio, and they still were up two games to one. And then what happened with Wednesday was just incredible. But Diaz been a factor. Going small and putting Splitter on the bench was a great move by Pop. Going to a two-point guard uh, rotation, forcing Miami to put point guards out there is big. So Leonard, Ginobili, and Green struggle in the first two games, and they still got a split. They're the better team. They should win. One more thing. Uh, I'm not apologizing for comparing LeBron to Jordan. I like doing it on the radio. I like doing it when I'm having the conversation. If LeBron loses to an aging Spurs team and goes 2-3 and three lifetime in the NBA Finals and loses out on the MVP this year to Durant and the MVP of the Finals, I'll stop this Jordan comparison. Okay. If he carries this team to the championship in seven games and has these performances, he elevates up and he is closer to Jordan. That's how much is riding on the line. Quickly, let's get to World Cup soccer. I'm not a soccer aficionado, Pauly, but I love the World Cup. I get the fact that the heartbeat of a country is with these players on every missed shot, every goal. A whole country gets elevated or deflated with the loss of a game. It doesn't sound like we stand a shot to get out of the group of death. I hope a win against Ghana gets the United States going. Yeah, and people will watch if Team USA does well. How about Klinsman, the coach? We have no shot. He said it twice. We don't, we don't live and breathe and live and die soccer like other countries. And it's not you can't compare it to the NFL or the Super Bowl here. I think people will watch and they'll get good ratings. But you can't compare it to the NFL or Super Bowl because it's not sexy and most of the games are one nothing or 2-1. And we don't get into it. Not enough juice. Here's something for you to retweet and then hashtag back to us. Why do you not like soccer? It's the biggest sporting event around the world by far. Much bigger than our Super Bowl, our NBA Finals. All around the globe, everybody gets it, but we don't. Is it because we're cocky? Are we arrogant in this country? Are we too busy watching other sports? Hashtag us, trash talk, at Vegas7.com, and let us know if you're going to embrace the World Cup or if you're just going to blow it off. I'm in. I'm going into the sports bars. I'll be at McMullen's with a pint. I'm getting into it with the fans. I hope you're able to do it. Do you have a winner for the World Cup? No idea. No idea. I have no idea. Belgium a sleeper. Belgium. I'm going to go with Argentina, the best player in the world, Lionel Messi, over Brazil. I think that'll be a great World Cup final. I'm JT. This is Paulie. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time at Vegas7.com.